Wesleyko versus McGallum Memorial. Panthers look for their first win of the season after falling in a tough one last and week, and they would and have to battle back. Already down 14 to nothing in the first, Frankie Trevino wants to take a shot. Goes deep to Joseph Leal, beautiful route and beautiful catch. 46 yards, marked down at the Mustang 13. Next play, David Garcia, big hole up the middle, runs into the Empire, a lot of traffic in the area. Garcia scores from 13 yards out, the deficit is cut in half, 14 to seven. Still in the first, it's McGowan Memorial knocking on the door. This is Kane Coy, who loses it for a second, Fights his way towards the goal line and just barely crosses the plane for the touchdown. Mustangs having their way on offense. 21 to 7, Panthers down 14 again. The first quarter fireworks continue. Weslico operating at the Memorial 48. It's Trevino with great protection. Finds Chris Luna, 21 yards before he's tackled at the 27. Next play, Trevino again. Look at the time. Perfect pocket, and it's Luna up the middle for the touchdown. Panthers with a great answer. Deficit at seven again, 21 to 14. We go to the second, 24 to 14 now. Westlicum on third and long, comes with a screen pass. Chris Luna breaks a tackle, and look at his speed. Down the field he goes, and his tackle at the 49. 33 yards on the plate. Same drive, ball at the Mustang 40. David Garcia up the middle, Memorial right there to get him, beautiful spin move, and Garcia breaks loose, brought down from behind, but 30 yards on the run to the 10. Next play, Trevino decides to keep it, great call, strolls into the end zone, Westlico gets within 3, 24 to 21. The Mustangs, however, take the momentum right back. Coy connects with Michael Alaniz, 44 yards to the house, 31 to 21, and that is your halftime score. To the third, opening drive, Panthers at the Memorial 39, Trevino on the keeper, this time goes to his left, bursts down the sideline, nice move to the inside, and Trevino with his second touchdown of the night, Westlico again within three, 31 to 28. After allowing scores in all five first half possessions, the Panthers buckle down on defense, here, a beautiful deflection by Ryan Gonzalez. All district defensive back, three year letterman. Score remains the same until the fourth. And on the first play, Coy finds Alanis again. This combination was lethal. Alanis turning a short gain into a 44 yard touchdown. Great athleticism. Mustangs regain their 10 point lead, 38 to 28. But still, the whole fourth quarter left to play. And on their next drive, Panthers start with Garcia. 10 yards to their own 35, first down. Same drive, ball at their own 48. Trevino, off the shotgun, looks and finds Luna. The junior escapes and has lots of room. Is forced out of bounds and here comes a late hit at 15 yards and this leads to Trevino, calling his own number, third touchdown of the night. This one from four yards out, 38 to 35, Westlaco keeping the pressure on. Under nine minutes left, Panthers D looking for a stop, and on third and ten, they come up with pressure. Coy escapes, but Nicholas Ramirez chases him down for a loss. Mustangs punt, and Westlaco takes over with great field position. They march to the Memorial 25, and the Panthers go to Garcia. He fights off a couple of tacklers and is brought down at the 15. Then on fourth down, Westlaco is forced to kick a field goal, and it's Trevino from 38 yards with a soft win, and it's wide left. No good, but officials call running into the kicker. That's a five-yard penalty, so the Panthers with another chance. Trevino stays in as the kicker, 33 yards now. This time, right down the pipe, the game is tied at 38. Mustang ball with under three minutes left, and it's the combination that's worked all night. Coy to Alaniz, 68 yards, and this is your game winner. For the second week in a row, Westlaco rallies from a double-digit deficit, ties the game, but falls just short against two quality programs. Your final in this one, 45-38, Panthers open their home schedule Friday against Laredo LBJ.